Because I know he. Who's that? I don't want anyone to. Let me go in the middle. It's better. Yeah, no, no, it's better here. Because middle. we won't have a lot of the audience. Um, you, 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 the audience. you go ahead. I know you you're. You no know Jehovah Witness Bible. That's the only thing I don't want. I don't want Jehovah Witness. I never have that. Are you sure? Because I know, I know you always bring your Jehovah Witness. No, no, I've got Jehovah Witness. Come on. You challenge me. Yeah, I came here. Where's Hudson? You're in the right position. Three minutes, three minutes, four minutes. You start, you start, you start. No, three, 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 three. No, no, no. He's not. So what is the topic? I need to challenge you. I came here to challenge me. What's the topic? I came here to challenge me. Okay. What did you say on top of this? It's about the concept of God in Islam versus the concept of God in Christianity. Yeah, okay. You said Jesus was not God. Okay, only God. You said he's going to prove to me that Allah is not God. That's are what we said. Only concept of God, yeah. Only stick to concept okay. of God, yeah. Alright, so uh, are you ready? Three minutes each, yeah. Go ahead. Start. Ready? One, two, three. Good afternoon, everyone. Or good evening, I'm more like anything. I'm here debating Lamin. Lamin always says that Jesus is not God according to the Bible. So, we as Christians, we do believe that the only way to salvation is through the Lord Jesus Christ. We believe because of Prophet Malachi in 3 verse 1 was told a prophecy that the Lord will come to his temple in Jerusalem and that Jesus is God incarnate in the flesh. As we see in John, in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word became God and it dwelt among us. So now, Lamin is trying to sell us as Christian community and the greater community that Jesus is not God, that Jesus is not the concept of God in the flesh. Now, we have to disagree with this matter because the scriptures specifically tell us that the whole point of salvation is because God paid the price on the cross and he died for our sins and only God has the power to remove our sins from us. Now, Lamin is trying to say that with his multiple Bibles and his Quranic verses, that this God that we believe in did not manifest in the flesh but was actually all a farce that somehow or the other his God which he calls Allah had changed that through Jesus and has brought about a different person, a different man who he claims to be the prophet that will bring the way and the truth. However, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. There is only one way to the Father and that's through me. This is what the Bible tells us. So in this narrative that we will bring out, I will explain specifically why we do not agree with the testimony of Allah or the testimony of Muhammad. And we'll use the Bible, the Hadith and the Quran to make our point that the God of the Islam is not the God of the Bible, that the God of Islam is not the true God, that Jesus is the true God and that our narrative will specifically show that the God of the Quran is who we would label as Satan. That is, don't need any more time. Go, go a bit close to him. Go a bit close to him. And uh, brothers and sisters in humanity, greetings to you all. My brother here, this last time, challenged me to a debate. I gave him two weeks about this, div this divinity of Jesus Christ. This for him. When I came here, he checked it out. As soon as he saw me, that's he wanted debate. So today I came, he went a proper debate today. I said, I'm doing it right. That's the thing. The debate now is the oneness of God, the concept of God in Islam versus the concept of God in Christianity. You see, we the Muslims, we love Jesus Christ before him. Jesus Christ was one of the mightiest prophets of Almighty God, Allah. He was sent to the children of Israel. He never said he's God and he's never seen worship it anywhere in the Bible. The Bible is replete with verses where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, makes a distinction between him and God. Plenty of verses. And if you go to the Old Testament, God in the Old Testament makes several verses, talks about his oneness and his uniqueness. So we are now even surprised why the Christians, the oldest, skip these verses. Claire, Emphatic verse, I'll go to John 1 1. In the beginning was the world, and the world was God. And 
and the degree was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. John 114, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And they go to the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 9. He that has seen me has seen the Father. Also, Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse number 10. Father, I want you. What about clear code verse in the Bible? Jesus said, You should worship Almighty God. You read the Bible. That's why I'm telling them, read your Bible, study your Bible. Jesus said, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 4, verse number 10. Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Same message repeated. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse number 8. Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Now, if Jesus Christ is God incarnate, Gospel of John 17:3. He called the disciples, he said to them, I keep on voice, I've quoted this for several times. He said to them, and this is eternal life, that this is eternal life, that they might know you are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I mean telling them, if he said Jesus is God, that means he's a, he's a false God. There's a true God and a false God. Several verses. And today, alhamdulillah, we have for half an hour minimum. I'll be quoting extensively just to show this man that Jesus Christ was a man, a prophet, and a servant of God. Only in the Bible. Inshallah. Inshallah. Sorry, sorry. Can you guys go on the fence, please? All right, it's my turn. Okay. Right. The Bible tells us, and this is First John, uh, chapter 4, verse 2. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist. Wherefore you have heard that it should come and is now already in the world. So now what is Jesus Christ? What does Christ mean? Christ is Christos in Greek. And when you translate it from Hebrew, that is Messiah. Now, you have to go to Malachi 3.1, where God told Malachi that he's coming to the earth. By him coming to the earth, God said he's going to visit his temple in Jerusalem. So now, if the God of the Quran is saying that Jesus is not God, that means, according to the scriptures, this is not the Spirit of God. So who is the Spirit that is Allah, that is claimed? And this is what my focus of my interpretation is going to be. Allah is the greatest of all deceivers. Quran 3.54, Quran 8.30. Now what does the Bible tell us about this? And the devil that deceived them, Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. Also, Allah is the Lord of the world. Quran 10 verse 37. What does the Bible tell us? 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 to 4. Satan is the Lord of this world. Now, I'll go on again. 99 names of Allah. al Muqtaq Kabir. I don't know. I don't speak Arabic. But the most proud. And that's Quran 59.23. Nice. What does the Bible tell us about the most proud? Satan was cast out of heaven because of his pride. And this is Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 15 and Ezekiel chapter 28 verses 11 to 19. And also another name of Allah is al munit or Mumit, the destroyer. And this is in Quran 3, 1, 5, 6, 7, 1, 5, 8, 15 verse 23 and 57 verse 2. So what does the Bible tell us about the destroyer? It says Satan is the destroyer. 1 Corinthians 10, chapter, uh, verse 10. Also, we'll continue with this. Another name of Allah, Al Mutal Ali, the Most High, Quran 13, 9. What does the Bible say? Isaiah 14, 14. Satan, Lucifer, will be like the Most High. Also, Allah equals terror. We, why do we say this? I am with, this is Quran 8.12. I am with you, therefore make firm those who believe. I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve. Therefore strike off their heads and strike off every fingertip. Now what does the Bible tell us? Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 19. All they that know thee... Hello, hello. Oh, this is amazing. I use Hatun Ross. Hatun says, I'm, I'm amazed with you Christians. Amazed! Why can't you read the Quran and understand it? You see, he put it something here. I'll expose this last for the Bible. Quran 3, 54. He said, he said, he said Allah is a deceiver. And they 
I.e. the, dis I the disbelievers plan, but other plan, and Allah is the best of plan planners. <laughs> Biggest smile here. Oh, you see that? He said, you see, you, 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 no, no. You, let, me, let me finish. These people, make the sure you get that in. Make sure you English. get Al-Makka in. Plain English. They can't even, they twist it. You have to, how could you have the audacity to come? You are trying to tafsir the Quran and Hadith when you haven't even read your Bible. I'm going to educate you today. Let me go. And it's Al Mumit. When he, when he wants the giver to, he goes of to death. Arabic. The giver of when death. He, he doesn't want there. it. I've got what a lie, So let's go to the Bible now. We'll, we'll okay. expose it. Now, first of all, in, 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 the Quran, the Islam, the concept of God in Islam, the Quran has got a 114, 114 surahs. And if you want to know the concept of God in the Quran, you have to go to Surah Ikhlas, which is a 112 surah. It's only four ayah, very powerful. Okay. So, okay. Allah uh, say he Allah the one. Allah Husaman, Allah upon whom all depend. He becomes not, no, he's because. Why is he you? And there is nothing to like him. This is the concept. He's funny guy. Let's go to the Bible now. This when is the concept. The, 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 the Bible says Jesus is the man, a prophet, and a servant of God. That really Muslims are telling you. How can a man, a prophet, and a servant of God be, be God himself? It doesn't make sense. Let's go to the Bible. If you read the Bible, Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse number 40. Jesus said to his enemies, but now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth which I have from God. Several verses in the Bible. You go to the Bible again. It is mentioned in the first Timothy, chapter number two, verse number five. He said, and there is only one God. And there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Man. Follow in the Bible. It is mentioned. In the book of Acts, chapter number two, verse number 20 to 23. Peter and the disciples went to the crowd after Jesus left his world. They went just to let me know that Jesus was a man. He said, O men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you. With a man attested to you by God. With mighty works and wonders and signs. With God did through him. We just do it. We are telling you. A man, a man, a man. A prophet, several verses. You read the Bible. It is mentioned. A prophet, you know. Before I go to the prophet, the Bible said God is not a man. You read the Bible in the book of Numbers, chapter number 23, verse number 19. God is not a man that is alive. God is not a man that is alive. That is the son of man that okay, is Okay, you've gone over your time. You can go on. Okay. Don't uh, run, don't I, I, like, I like what he did about the Arabic, but he forgot to mention that al makka means the deceiver, and that is really the translation of Arabic. But I'm not going to get um, sidetracked. My voice is here today to show the verses that prove that Allah is Satan. I don't have time to get into simple, un, you know, edible words or theatrics that are better done in Hollywood. I'm here to get the definition of what Christianity proves that Allah is not the God of the Bible and that this is an antichrist religion and these guys by this delusion will be sent to an eternal damnation. Exactly. So I'll continue. Satan equals terror as Ezekiel says in Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 19. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror and never sh shalt thou be any more. This is what Ezekiel is saying about Satan. And I'll continue with this. Allah's apostle said, I was made victorious by terror. Uh, in Hadith 452-220, which is a Sahih Bukhari. Now, he that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested into that he might destroy the works of the devil. And this is 1 John 3 verse 8. Now, what kind of works are the works of the devil? Murder, killing. And this is what the Quran 2, chapter 2, 191 says. And kill them wherever you find them. Thou shalt not kill is a commandment of God. There is no excuse to murder. This is not of God. And this is a very simple, very, very easy thing to correlate. The Ten Commandments are given so that anybody can understand what the Lord wants. And I'll go, it's Exodus 20, chapter, uh, verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. Okay, and this is what Allah says. He says he's the same God as ours, but we know he's Satan. Fight them. Allah will chastise them at your hands and he will lay them low and give you victory over them. Victory by what? The sword. And how is the sword the way of God when God is almighty? He can command things. 
Our God does not need to use violence to bring man to subjugation. His word is enough, and the word of God is Jesus that came in the flesh. Ye of the Father, the devil, and the loss of the Father you do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. And when this guy is deceiving me, telling me that Allah is not lying, that Allah is saying he's the best of planners when it's al makkah the best of all deceivers. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, keep going. Now, I'll continue the verse to the finish. And abode not in the truth, because there's no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he's a liar and the father of it. And this is in John 8, 44, which is showing how Satan works with killing and lies. And the Tao are always lying and deceiving and misinterpreting the scripture, proving that they're doing the works of Satan. See, stop, stop, stop. You see, this man here only knows attack, attack, attack. Never read the Bible. I don't want to die again. Now you're going to my killing. When I saw you, the God already killing. Children, women, infants, you'll be shocked. Our Lord, you know the Bible has got more violent verses. Go and check my debate with Daniel, and you know. If you want, I'll confuse to them. Our God, there's no killing. Let's not digress. Let's stick. Let's stick. No, I'll come. Let's stick to that. Because I've got the verses here. Killing of who? Innocent women, children, babies. You'll be shocked. You have to read the Bible. So I don't, I don't want to digress. So let's go. When I, I stopped from, uh, 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 I said, uh, the Bible said Jesus is a what? A man, a prophet, and a servant of God. I've done a man, let's go to the prophet. The Bible said Jesus is a prophet of God. We the Muslims are telling you, a prophet of God. If you read the Bible, it is mentioned. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, verse number 19 said, what things he asked about Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth they replied, he was a prophet, powerful in word and deed, before God and all the people, a prophet. It is mentioned in the uh, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse number 10 to 11. It said, And when he entered into the town, into the city, all the city was moved, and the multitude that the crowd said, Who is this? And they said, This is Jesus, a prophet of Nazareth of Galilee, a prophet. Why didn't they say God incarnate to call himself? But a prophet. For in the Bible, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 6, verse number 14. He said, and those men, when they have seen miracle, miracle that Jesus did, said, this is, of the, this is of the truth of that prophet that should come into the world. Those men, when they have seen the miracle that Jesus did, they said, and this is of the truth. That prophet that should come into this world, why did they say that God incarnate God? Because they were waiting for the promised Messiah, not God incarnate. This is a later, later invention. And Jesus said, he never said his God was enough. Jesus said, Gospel of John 14 20, my father has given I. Gospel of John chapter 5, verse number 9. I can offer myself to do nothing. God said, I can offer myself to do nothing as I hear a judge and my judgment just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Gospel of John chapter number 20, verse number 17. He said to me, I'm afraid. That me not, for I am not ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I'm ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. If Jesus had a God, how can he be God? Address that. We love Jesus as a prophet, as the Messiah said to the Jew. He said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 124. You could just attack, attack at the Islamic websites, putting the Quran out of context. You can't speak Arabic. I'll move it. You don't even know you're quoting things. No, let's stick to the point. Go, who is next? Okay. Go there. I like, I like Lemon's. Uh, yeah, I will finish with this two hours debate. I'm misquoting the Bible, but what I'll do is talk about the divinity of Christ at my conclusion. Like I said, no, 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 my, no, 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 my, this is my. This is my time, please. I've been polite to let you have your say. Like what I've said is to prove that so far I've given enough scripture to show that the God of the Quran is not the God of the Bible. But the God of the Quran specifically fits what is related in the Bible as Satan. And I'll continue with more. I have over 30 more scripts to go through. So now, Allah's Apostle said, the hour will not be established 
until we fight with the Jews and the stone which the Jews hiding behind will say, O oh Muslim, there's a Jew behind me, come and kill me. This is what the Bible says in 1 John, John 16, 1-3. These things have I spoken to you, that ye shall not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time will come that whosoever killeth you will think that he is doing God a service. <coughs> and these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father or known me. Now Allah says he's not a father to anyone, you're a slave to Allah. And this is the reason why we have to take some really serious thought that all the prophets call God Abba, which is Father, but not the Apostle of Allah, because Allah is not the God of the Bible and He's not the God of the prophets. We shall cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve because they have joined others in worship with Allah. That is what the Quran says in chapter 3, 151. Now the thief Satan cometh not for any to for not for but for to steal and to kill and destroy and this is what the bible is saying about what satan does just like what islam is trying to do destroy christianity destroy judaism destroy anyone that does not believe in allah and his apostle in the last day <coughs> jesus i am jesus come that they might have life and they might have more to it abundantly this is john chapter 10 verse 10. jesus has said he has come to give us life Allah's apostle has come to give us death, destruction, murder, rape and pillage. Hello, hello. And I can go into the Quran again, 929, which we all know. Fight against those that don't believe in Allah the last day. Okay, and forbid, when I finish, forbidden by Allah and his messenger. And it goes into the expletives, continuously, that the Jews and the Christians should be subjugated to pay the jizya. But this is boring because it's always called. So now, the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and the sorcerers and idolaters, all liars, will all have their part in the lake of fire, which is brimstone and the second death. And this is Revelation 21.8. Now Islam is making you commit acts that will send you to the eternal damnation because you are breaking the laws of the law. And this is more proof that Allah is not the God of the Bible. See, okay, wait, wait, hey, one more and then you're going to do a conclusion. Because that's half an hour. No, they do one more, three, three, and then conclude. The Bible goes, I said, this in the Bible, this is a man, a prophet, and a servant of God. Let's go to servant of God. If you read the Bible, it is penciled in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 18. God said, Behold, God is talking to you, behold my servant. Whom I have chosen, in whom my soul is one. Please, if Jesus was a servant of God, how can he be God? Follow me in the Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter number 3, verse number 13, it says, He said, And the God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus. All the prophets, they were servants of God. In the Bible, Jesus servant of God. How can he be God? He's not aggressive, but he's not addressing the issue. Follow in the Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse number 24 to 27, it says that, and they raised their voices together to God and said, Sovereign God, who made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and everything in them, the people of Israel gathered against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you have anointed. Holy servant, how can the servant be God? We are telling you, several verses of the Bible, God said he's not a man. He's not a man. In the book of Hosea 11, 9, for I am God and not man. So Jesus can be God. This will be a temple of Jesus Christ. Is God. He's been honored. He's been named in the Quran no less than 25 times. And there is a surah in the Quran called Surah Maria, dedicated to the mother of Jesus before him. If you the Quran, he's more than one. Isa ibn Maryam. Jesus son of Mary, and Nabi, the prophet, Asalihi, the righteous, Kalimba to lie, the word of God, the ruler, the spirit of God. Separate, you know, we love Jesus. That is why we love Jesus Christ before him. But not as God incarnate. No one in the, nowhere in the Bible. Jesus says God. So what's if Jesus is God, he doesn't even know the hour. Jesus said he doesn't know the hour. It doesn't make sense. God incarnate, and I'm telling you, oh, okay, but Jesus also was crucified, according to you. What sort of uh, uh, mark 
church on number 27, verse number 26. Ella, 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 oh my God, oh my God, why has thou forsaken me? Who was that God? He was crying. If this was a crucified on the cross, even if that God died, who was controlling the world? Also, Gospel of John, chapter that, Gospel of Luke, chapter number 6, verse number 12, he said, Jesus went out into the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Who was that God he was praying to? It doesn't make sense. Why hundreds of thousands of people are living Christianity because of this divinity of Jesus? Hundreds are living. Some are become Muslim, some atheists, some free thinkers because of this divinity. Jesus was a man. Okay, so uh, no, 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 before we continue, just don't start yet. I want to ask this is the last one, then the conclusion. Okay, so now, in order, this is the last um, part before the conclusion, and I will go into what they look. Where did Muhammad receive his uh, prophecy from to prove his prophecy? He said the angel Jibril came to him and he gave him revelations from Allah. Now, this is what the Bible has to say about receiving revelations from angels. But though we or an angel from heaven, which was Jibril, preach any other gospel unto you than we have preached unto you, let him be under God's curse. As I said before, so I say again, if any man like Muhammad preach any other gospel like the Quran unto you that has been received, which is the Bible, the testimony of 40 prophets over 3,000 years in 66 books, let him be accursed under God's curse. This is Galatians chapter 1 verses 8 to 9. Now we're going to be coming up to the conclusion part, but this is also what is said in the Bible. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, given a false doctrine, as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 14 to 15. So we can see that Satan can mask himself as an angel of light, which is an angel probably of the Lord, giving people false scriptures, which we are seeing done in the state of the Quran. Now, we have to ask you Muslim brothers, who gave this man his prophethood that you should listen to? And this is where I come to one of the most um, appalling hadiths, 39, which is Sahih 39, 67, 57. How does the Apostle say there is not none amongst you Muslims with whom there is not an attache from the jinn? A jinn is a shaitan. So he's saying that his followers have a jinn attached for them. And also, and this will come to nearer to my conclusion message, Allah is saying the worst day, the worst person on the day of resurrection is the man calling himself the king of kings. Now, I find this very, very troubling that Allah's apostle, and I'll go into the hadith, which is Sahih Bukhari 873-224. Allah's apostle said, the most awful name in Allah's sight on the day of resurrection it will be that of a man calling himself Malik al Amla, King of Kings. King of Kings translated. So we are going to find in the conclusion who this King of Kings is. Now, we as Christians believe Jesus is Lord because one of the titles of our Lord Jesus, Yeshua, is the King of Kings, the Alpha and the Omega. And Emmanuel means God with us. When the child is born, which is stated in Matthew. Not Muhammad. Ahmed, conclusion, yeah? This is your conclusion. This is your conclusion. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's a bit the conclusion now. I wish you have another hour to talk more. But as I said, we love Jesus Christ, the prophet, saying to the children of Israel. He never say he's God, he never say what he be. Now I'm gonna go to the Lord's Prayer in the Bible. Now, the Lord's Prayer in the Bible is an evidence against Trinity. I think an evidence against this alleged divinity of Jesus Christ. According to Jesus, Jesus is teaching on prayer. You read this in Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 1 to 4. Verse number 1 says, said, And it came to pass that as he, Jesus, was praying in a certain place, when he sees one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us how to pray, just like John taught his disciples. Verse number 2, Jesus said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Verse number 3. Give us day by day our daily bread. Jesus is teaching, teaching how to pray. Give us day by day our daily bread. 
to ask God. And verse number four says that, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us, indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus teaching the disciples how to pray. Who is that? Forgive us our sins. Who to forgive? Tell, tell him them. Ask Almighty God to forgive your sins, not me. The lost prayer is an evidence against Trinity. But the viewers now, you can see the man to be disingenuous. You know, just attack. You can even go for the Bible. Now, I'm going to go back to that now. Now, the final knockout. The final knockout. Allah gives you this idea that any human being can be able to go the final knockout. You read this. It's right there. Just next to the tree. This one here, here. That's what I'm saying. Tell them. Salute for anybody other than Allah. Bilal, you know Bilal? He's the only idiot who is the heavens of the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are holding it up. He feeds what's not fed. The ice is flat. Almighty God feeds the creation. It's not fed. And more directly to Jesus. Yes, Surah Al-Maidah, just number five. Verse number 75. He says, was no more than a messenger. But they can be men coming Rusu. Many were the messengers that passed away before him. Who almost the car and his mother was a sickly woman. Mary was a pious woman. Kanaya Pulanita um, and they both ate food. What is Allah telling us here? Allah is telling us that, that they were defended. Mary and Jesus. Jesus Maybe and his mother, they were dependent. Without food, they would have died. Allah is in the of all needs. So Manzur and Ayyufa Yet look how they are delivered away from the truth. So, it's finished now, yeah? So, we finished now, yeah? Now, we're now, we're now, we're now, we're now, we're now, so, we, next you've time run over your time. So now we, we've, we had to hear pagan chants at the end of the uh, sermon, which is not um, relevant. But one thing that I'll say for certain is that people have said that Jesus is not God. But Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Do you believe in the Torah? Thou hast believed. Blessed are they. Brother, can you stop the debate? Keep going, keep going, keep going. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. This is what Thomas said to Jesus after the end of the crucifixion when he had resurrected. Now, many. Brother, sorry, pause. pause. No, no, brother, no, brother, no, brother, you're really disturbing the debate. Can I just conclude? Yeah, you stop. Mohammed, why are you rude? Why are you rude? Brother, you really, really he heard your conclusion. No, 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 why don't you tell him to stop? Let me just finish. Listen to their conclusion. No, he's, 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 he's concluding now. No, we need another one. No, we need the last one. We finished it. He didn't conclude. No, I did not conclude. I have not done my Anyway, don't worry. Just talk to the camera. Just talk to the camera. No, because he was first. No, no. Okay, so we had a little confliction with the conclusion. But um, don't worry, just continue. It's fine. It's fine. We had a, di a little um, difficulty with the conclusion, so I didn't get my message across in the right way. But Lamin uh, did present that Jesus is not God. But we had to go to the account of the disciples, which at the end of the crucifixion, Thomas said to Jesus, "My Lord and my." My God. No, no, no. But I'm most saying, importantly, what we found out is that Allah said he's the Almaka and that's the deceiver. But Allah also said something significant that the worst name you will hear on the day of resurrection is the one calling himself the King of Kings. So now I will go into who the King of Kings is, which is Jesus. And I saw heaven opened up. And this is Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. And I saw heaven opened up, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon it was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and his head wore many crowns. And, and a name was written that no one knew but himself. And he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God. Yeah. The Word of God is Jesus, by the way, to those that don't know. And the armies of heaven were with him, and they followed. 
and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, and with it he shall smite the nations, and shall rule over them with a rod of iron, and treadeth the winepress of the fearlessness and the wrath of the Almighty God. And he has on his right hand a thigh, a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, King of Kings and Lord of Lords is the enemy of Allah on the last day, proving that Allah is not God. And there's also more reference that Jesus is not God. So I'll go to the ending of the Bible, and, it, and this is Jesus speaking. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the last, the first and the last song. I, Jesus, have sent my angels to testify unto you these things in the church. I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star. But to go to conclusion, and this is a warning to you Muslims, that are deceived by not, you know, using the scripture in the light of it, what it is. And if any man should take away from these words of this book and the prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life and from the holy city and the things that are written. And you have to be careful that you are committing a great blasphemy. The Bible was authored by 40 prophets over 66 books in the period of around 3,000 years. Read the Bible, take it in context. I go with the King James, go with the New King James if you have difficulty in all English so that you understand it. But Allah is not God, Allah is Satan and I've given enough rhetoric to show you that in the Bible, the Quran and the Deeds that confirm what my interpretation was. God bless you all and I hope wisdom is given to those that seek it. Because it's Amen.